Um, so today, uh, the last time uh, on one of the last videos or the last segment, we were learning about setting the gain. Okay, so you guys remember, uh, just a quick review on how to set the gain is uh, um, uh, you have the, in the preamp, you have the plus 48 volts uh, so that uh, uh, it automatically adds the voltage to, to, to the gain there, or you can pad it, okay, and then you have your gain knob. So uh, as you turn the gain, you know, you get, you know, more and more uh, uh, sound out of the system, okay? So remember, what I like to do is uh, uh, mute the system, set, set the faders at unity, okay? Turn up the gain until you get clipping, okay? And then back it off about 5 to 10 decibels to give you a little bit of headroom, okay? Now, there will be times where... Um, the signal is so strong that you can't, you, that you're already clipping right from the beginning. So, for example, the way they set this up, I got a CD running off the rack here, and it gets pipes into here. If I just have everything uh, turned down, so if I had the pad off or whatever, um, let's see, let's turn, turn the pad off, okay, um, on that, I bet you it was in between songs, okay, uh, you'll note that as soon as the songs start playing, you're already clipping the system. Okay, if the gain is anywhere up, you're, you're clipping the system. Okay, so, so you're hitting the red lights, uh, all, the, all the warning lights are coming on. Okay, so, and there's very little, you can turn the gain all the way down. Okay, you turn the gain all the way down, and you're, you could still be clipping, you could still be clipping the song. And I haven't even turned up the faders yet. Okay, so so you can pad it. Okay, so let's pad this. We can pad this. Okay, and that makes it a little better. Okay, but I can't. One, I can't even get this up to unity. I can't even get it up to unity without it being too loud. And on top of that, I have no room to go on my game. I'm all the way at plus uh, plus 10 okay so I have no more room to go on my game okay so there is something on this board uh, that not all boards have there's something called an attenuator okay what an attenuator does is uh, it if gain adds sound to the system an attenuator takes it away okay it attenuates it Almost like it's, it, it's, it, it sounds like a volume control. It attenuates it, so it brings it back. So on this system here, you if you look at the, the panel here, you got preamp. Okay, here's your control your preamp. To the right of it, you have something that is called ATT. Okay, it's an attenuator. You could take your control knob buttons and and highlight it. Okay, so I can highlight my attenuator, and now with the control wheel, I can reduce the amount of sound, okay, or increase it. Okay, that's a digital voice allow you to add as well, as well as decrease. We normally set this at zero, it's preset at zero, okay, but if you're in this situation where you can't go any further on, you pad it, you can't go any further down on the gain, and your, your faders are pretty low, that means the first song you play might be a quiet song. Okay, but if the second song is really loud, then you're going to start clipping right away and you got no room to go. So what you want to do is to lower your attenuator. Okay? So you want to lower your attenuator so that you get room on your faders. Okay? And that's what the attenuator does. Okay? Uh, there's a button on this, on the on the Roland M40 boards, there is a button on here, an F7 button, okay? If you press that, okay, that switches uh, the control knobs, okay? This is kind of important to note because sometimes this gets switched and you're not sure what you're controlling. If, if the attenuated control button, the F7 button is switched, that means this control knob over here, the gain button, actually isn't operating the gain anymore. It's operating the attenuator, okay? And then the wheel operates the game, okay? If the, so if you want to go back 
to the gain button operating the game, then you hit the attenuating, the F7 button again, and now the gain knob operates the game uh, again. Okay, so that, that's happened a couple of times to me where I've gotten on the board and someone had hit the attenuator button, and that's fine. It's just that I had to remember, oh, that, you know, I was operating the wrong thing. Okay, so uh, anyways, that's what an attenuator does and, and how it impacts the board. Okay.